This interview is being recorded and videoed, and it is being conducted in an interview room in Mallingsgate, Telford, Shropshire. I'm Detective Inspector Holly Andrews. Can you give your name and date of birth for the purposes of the tape, please, Mr. Cooper? I am Lance Cooper, and my date of birth is the 4th of April, 1972. Right, the time, if we can all agree, is 11 minutes past 11 a.m. and the date is the 12th of October 2013. Now, at the conclusion of this interview, Mr. Cooper, I will be explaining exactly what will happen to the tapes. Do you understand? Yes. Now, you've been offered and declined legal advice. You are still entitled to free and independent legal advice. Do you understand? Can you answer verbally, please? Yes. Okay, so you were found in a disused underground parking lot on September the 19th, 2013, at approximately 3.30. You were found crawling around, confused and disorientated, covered in your own blood by a contractor. Would you say that's a fair and factual account? Yes. Cooper? I don't remember. Well, is there anything you do remember before this event?
Jessica! She was gone too long this time. She never went, she never went anywhere without calling me. Too long. So I, um, I called the police and uh, got a few of her friends and a, a, a neighbour to, to help me. You know, before they came. Hallelujah. Yep. May I come in? I can save you, friend. Because you need to be saved. I'm showing Mr. Cooper a photograph of a Michelle Lane. Do you know this woman? I don't know her name. But do you recognize her? How do you know her? We met on the net. On the internet. What, a dating website? A, a Twitter, Facebook? No, no. Well, have you spoken to her prior to the event? I mean, face to face. Why don't you describe her to me? I suppose. Short, shorter than you? 
shorter than me. Uh, yeah. Um, she she had brown hair. Uh, slim. Northern accent. Uh, your relationship with Miss Lane.
there anything you can tell me, you know, something minor, something she may have said or something she said she was going to do? No, no. I'm showing Mr. Cooper a photograph of a Thomas Harris. Oh, 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 oh. 
Scared. I, I um, I, I, I didn't know who, or who I was, or where I was. And then this guy, this guy, he was shouting and and, and, and screaming, and, and I, I, I just wanted to shut him up. Shut him up? What do you mean, shut him up? I just wanted him to be quiet. Right, so you wake up, you're bleeding, you're hungry, you don't know where you are or who you are. I am. Um, I was in pain. My leg. You see. And then um, I found her, Michelle. So I, uh, I, I checked on her, but she, she was cold and, and uh, dead. I just wanted to get out of there. So you'd never been to or seen this place uh, before? I don't think so. So what, you, you were kidnapped? Well, I don't, I, I don't know how I got there. Your medical report says an injury to the right side of the head, likely caused by a blunt object, not a fall, impact with reasonable force, potential to cause unconsciousness. Three inch laceration. I, I, I don't know how that was caused. The patient complaining of memory loss suggested that blow could have caused temporary amnesia. Mr. Cooper, you were found four weeks ago. Are you still saying you're suffering from some kind of amnesia? Uh, no. Yes. Which is it, Mr. Cooper? No? Yes. I, 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 I remember images. Uh, I remember, I remember Jessica, uh, I remember my wife, I remember him. Him? The, the, the Revenant, uh, that's what he called himself, the Revenant. Um, I would like that drink now, please. really necessary. You tell me, Mr. Cooper. Yeah, um, a, a preacher. Describe him for me. A madman. No, I, I mean, describe what he looked like. Um, he was, uh, uh, tall, uh, skinny, wore a hat. Um, it's, 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 just images. I'm showing Mr. Cooper a photograph of a Stephen Lloyd. That's him. A madman. You crossed paths? Once. Where?
Do you believe in God? No. You answer so surely, so promptly. Why do you feel so? You used to believe in something. Yes. You have lost your faith. It was taken from me. Never. It is always lost. As are you. many of us willing to do great things for the Lord. You have a story, as do I. A story of loss. Desire to forget, do you not? I, I can't forget. I will help you. You were the last person to see him alive. Did you know that? No. He's disappeared. He's not been seen since. Do you know where he is, Mr. Coomer? No. Look, look, look. I asked him to leave. Right? I was vulnerable. My daughter's dead. I was weak. I hadn't eaten. I hadn't slept in days. I, I, I just spent most of my time trawling the internet, trying to find something. Looking for what? I, 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 I don't know, is there something, a, a, a way, a people who felt like I did? So these people, these these people that you found, Michelle and Thomas, is that how you met them? Yeah. Why were you all there? And what did you have in common? We were all dead. Inside and out. He's glib, superficially charming, has a grandiose sense of worth, impulsive, he's committed antisocial acts, has had the history of being a juvenile delinquent. He certainly seems to show a lack of emotional depth. Your psych report. An individual who we categorise as having some extreme need to have his ego stroked, a person that's used to being put on a pedestal by others, which some people might characterise as narcissistic. Face saving is an extremely important issue and anything that you can do to protect that person's ego from getting any more injured, that, that pride from being any more harmed, is a satisfactory description of Mr Cooper with strong narcissistic and grandiose tendencies and indication of the intention to cover one's tracks and ultimately, someone who would lie and lie without regret.
Little baby, don't you cry, and I will sing you a lullaby. Evaluation. Rubbish. Mr. Cooper, if there's something you want to tell me, then tell me. We're just looking for the truth. I, I can help you. I'm telling the truth.
this all about? Eh? Do I know you? Eh? Why me? What do you want from me? Do you know me? Who do you think I am? Look, where are you going with this? What do you want from me? I haven't, I haven't got the sort of money you'll be interested in. What do you want? Is this to do my job or something? Or what? I just want to go I want to talk to you about money. You seem to have deposited large sums of money into different accounts. You've got 5,000 into your current account, 8,000 in your main savings, 3,000 in your ISA, and 
fifteen thousand pounds in two offshore accounts. Well, I, I sold a few things, such as um, a, a car, a, a, a caravan, um, some personal things. You can't expect me to remember everything. I had to get rid of a few things. I put it to you, Mr. Cooper, that you are involved in the disappearance, abduction, and murder of Michelle Lane, Thomas Harris, Stephen Lloyd, and Luke Oden. No, 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 look, I haven't done anything. Look, I haven't done anything, right? I'm the victim here, right? And, and, and Luke Oden, who's Luke Oden? I've never seen him before. Well, let me refresh your memory. seen this boy before. He was found in a bin, not far from where we found you. Well, parts of him were. I wasn't involved. He was 17 years old, Mr. Cooper. Well, I'm sorry for his family. Oh, sorry. You're sorry for yourself. No. It wasn't a question. Oh, I'm the victim here. So you're the victim? Yes, I am. 
Right. Well, you met all these people online? Yes. Uh, no, I, I've never met Luke online. Oh, so you've met Luke before? No, no, well, it's, I've never met him before. Oh, so he just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time? <sighs> Sorry. This is a police investigation, Mr. Cooper. I'm going to ask you some very simple and direct questions. I suggest you answer in the same manner. This money, did it have anything to do with the disappearance of Michelle and Thomas? Uh, no. Were you paid to kill, assassinate any of the previously mentioned people? No. Did you murder Michelle Lane? Are you involved in any way of the deaths of any of the previously mentioned people? Stephen Lloyd. Don't talk to me. I saw it. Don't touch me! Do not stop me! Don't touch me! Kill you! illness most of his adult life. Oh, who's normal? Uh, you are the Midlands' most wanted man. That is not normal, Mr. Cooper. You have left widows and wives and children crying. That is not normal. You are a killer. No. That is not normal. No. So what is it? You were trying to make a name for you? No. She wanted to be famous like Ted Bundy. Don't. Don't what? Compare you to him? You did this for yourself. There's no altruistic motive. There's no need. There's no fulfillment. You are a cold-blooded killer. You've been watching too many cop shows. What do you think winding me up is going to get me to speak to you? No. Then don't attempt it, OK? Come on, Mr Cooper. You must have done other things. Surely you knew you'd get caught. Where's Stephen's body? Did you bury it? No. Where is it? It's probably going down the river, sir! Stay down, Mr Cooper! Now! your daughter something snapped you wanted revenge you killed Stephen and then you had to justify it you were numb look you, you just don't understand it's what they wanted nobody wants this mr. Cooper I really did what they wanted this interview is concluded 1305 